Hey guys, this is Devashish and you are watching Tech G. Today I am going to start a new video series, Job and Placement Preparation, that is Quantitative Aptitude. So, aptitude is very important for any job exam and placement preparation. It has a worst syllabus but very simple maths. You already covered all these topics in class 10, 11 and 12 standard. But we have to practice all these maths for our job or any placement preparation examination. These aptitude questions are very easy but we have to solve these problems as fast as possible. So we have to practice to do this maths very quickly and effectively. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel TechG and press the bell icon to get the notification and future updates. So let's start. First we discuss ACF and LCM. We all know how to do this operation of ACF and LCM. Before starting this video, we have to remember few important formulas. So please write down all these formulas. We use all these formulas in our problems. The first formula is product of two numbers equals to ACF into LCM. Okay. This formula is very much important. We use this formula many times to solve the ACF and LCM problems. So next formula is co-prime number. We have to know what is co-prime number. The relation of co-prime or co-prime number if ACF of two number equals to one. Next formula is ACF and LCM of fractions. This question come many times to find the ACF and LCM of fractional values. This is the formula to find the ACF of fractional values. Okay, so ACF of numerators divided by LCM of denominators. So first find the ACF of all the numerators and then find LCM of denominators. In this way, you find the ACF of fractional values. In the similar way, we can find the LCM of fractional values. But in this time, we make the LCM of numerators and ACF of denominators. Same process you have to follow. I hope you understand. Now we practice few examples to find the ACF and LCM of fractional values. So our first example is find the ACF of 2 by 3, 8 by 9, 64 by 81 and 10 by 27. So according to this formula to find the ACF of fractional values first find the ACF of the numerator terms that is 2, 8, 64 and 10. Then find the LCM of 3, 9, 81 and 27. We all know the highest common factor between 2, 8, 64 and 10 is 2 because all these numbers are divisible by 2. An LCM of 3981 and 27 is 81. So the ACF of this fractional values equals to 2 by 81. Okay. This is your desired answer. Next, find the LCM of 1 by 3, 5 by 6, 2 by 9 and 4 by 27. Okay. So you have to find the LCM of this fractional value. So according to this formula, first find the LCM of numerator terms divide by the ACF values of numerator terms that is 3, 6, 9 and 27. Okay. So the LCM equals to 20 and ACF equals to 3. So I hope you understand how to find the ACF and LCM of fractional values. Next. So practice few example. First question find the highest common factor of 36 and 84. This question comes in RRB 2003. So we have to find the ACF between 36 and 84. Simply we just follow the procedure to find the ACF. Okay. So here the highest common factor that is 2 cross 2 cross 3 that is 12. The highest common factor between 36 and 84 is 12. I hope you understand. Next the product of two numbers is 2028 and their ACF is 13. The number of such pair is. So we have to find the number of pairs whose product equals to 2028 and ACF equals to 13. So how we do this? First write product of two numbers equals to 2028 and let the two number is A and B. Their ACF equals to 13 that is highest common factor. 13 is common with A and B. 
So the product of two number equal to two thousand and twenty eight. So thirteen A into thirteen B equals to two thousand and twenty eight. So we get our equation. Now here we just find the value of A and B. That is two thousand and twenty eight divided by thirteen into thirteen. So minimize this equation. We get the value of A B equals to twelve. So the relation between such product is co prime. Okay. We all know the what is co prime number. That's the ACF between two number equals to one. So the co prime with product value equals to twelve. Such number of pairs that's product value equals to twelve and they are in co prime relationship is one into twelve. Between one and twelve, there is one common factor that is one. Three and four or three cross four. There is one common factor that is one. Okay, so these two pairs are in co-prime relationship and their product value equals to twelve. So we get our answer that is there are two such pairs. Okay, this question comes in double A O two thousand ten and P C S two thousand twenty. Next, the A C F and L C M of two numbers are twelve and three hundred and thirty six respectively. If one of the number is eighty four. The other is so. This question comes in SSC 2010. So we have to find the other number. The ACF and LCM value is given. That is ACF value equals to 12 and LCM value is 336. One number is given. That is 84. Let's other number equals to x. So according to the formula, that product of two number equals to their multiplication value of ACF and LCM. Here one value is 84 and another value we take x. So 84 into x equals to their is multiplication value of ACF and LCM. So x equals to 12 into 336 divided by 84. After simplifying, we get The value of x equals to forty-eight. Okay, so we get our answer. That is another number is forty-eight. I hope you understand how to solve this problem of ACF and LCM. If you have any doubt, please comment below. I definitely solve your problems. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take G. Thank you.